These are the 10-4, 10-6 angle relationship notes for circles. So we're going to go through a lot of different things today. Uh, you've got the diagrams here about what we're looking at. So we have central angles, inscribed angles, and then we have arcs that start either interior or exterior. And that will determine the measure. So first off, if you have the central angle, it's going to equal directly the arc. So if it does have to start in the center, and it will equal the arc. If it crosses through the circle, then the inscribed angle is going to equal half the arc length. And if it's crossing through the center, or not center, just through the circle, you need to add and divide by 2 the arcs. And if it's outside the circle, then you subtract the arcs and divide by 2. So here's our examples. Number one, we're solving for x, which is this angle right here. So just like any time we have the two lines crossing, we do have vertical angles. So these angles right here are going to be congruent to one another. And if we can find this angle, then we'll be able to find x. We have 67 and 80, which adds up to 147. Since we have a line passing through the diameter, that means we have 180 degrees for this semicircle. So 180 degrees minus 147 degrees is 33 degrees. That makes this arc 33 degrees, which would make this arc 33 degrees. So x is equal to 33. Example 2, we have where we end up with our inscribed angle, so it's across it, which would make the arc twice as much as the inscribed angle, so all we have to do is double 40, and we get our answer, so 80 degrees for that one. Uh, example 3 is the same thing, just in reverse, so we're starting with our outside angle, and we need to figure out the interior, so it'll be half of that, so 158 divided by 2, and that will be 79 degrees. So that will be for that one. Okay, example four, we have two angles we're looking for, one and seven, or one and two. So 117 is this angle here. So that would make one equal to twice that number. So one is going to equal 234 degrees. So that is the measure of 1. And since we know that a circle is a 360 degrees, if we subtract 234 from 360, we get our arc 2. Okay, here we go. 6, 2, 1. So that would make angle 2 126 degrees. Okay, number example 5 is going to be the same type of thing. We've got our interior angle here going through the circle. So that would make 1 twice that number, which is 164. And then if we subtract from 360, we will end up with our measure of angle 2, since they make up the whole circle. Example 6 is asking for which angles are congruent, which angle pairs. Okay, so again, we're looking to see the same arc. So here we've got E and C both going to the same arc, so that would make them congruent. So angle C is congruent to angle D. And then working backwards, E and F are both going to this arc. So angle F, E is congruent to angle F. Okay, example 7. This is one where we do have the kind of crisscross on the inside of the circle. So we're looking to average our two exterior arcs to get the measure of 2. Uh, so if we do 115 plus 97 and divide by 2, we end up with 106. 
because it's 212 divided by 2. So this is 106 in here. And since this is a straight line and we have 106 degrees here, then this side's going to be 74. So we've got the measure of angle 1 is 74 degrees. The measure of angle 2 is 106 degrees. Example 8 is, like previous examples, we have 200 degrees here. That would make our interior half of that, which would be 100. That would make angle 2 80, since again we have a straight line. And we need to double it to get to the outside. We get 160 degrees here. Or we have 360 degrees in the circle. Minus 200 is the 160. And then taking that and dividing it by 2, we get 80. So either way, we get our angles. So the measure of angle 1 is equal to 160 degrees. The measure of angle 2 is equal to 80 degrees. Example 9, we do not have the two exterior angles. We need to find them. So we're going to go ahead and call 1x in order to do this. And remember, it's averaging them. So we'd have 41 plus x over 2 equal to our interior angle, which was 47. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of the 2. So if we multiply both sides by 2, we can do that. So we have 41 plus x equals 94. And subtracting away 41 gives us our answer of 53 for x. So that makes angle 1 53 degrees. This in, is a straight line, so you have 180 degrees. If we minus the 47, we'll get the measure of angle 2, which would be 133. So the measure of angle 1, or arc 1, sorry, so it's an arc. And I want to say 153 degrees. And then angle 2 is 133 degrees. Example 10, we have it going all the way through. So this is one now where we're subtracting. So when it's inside crisscrossing, we add. When it's outside, when it meets, we subtract. So we need to subtract the two angles, or arc measures, from one another, and then divide by 2 to get the measure of angle 1. So 80 minus 32 gives us 48 over 2. So the measure of angle 1 is 24 degrees. Same thing here in example 11, we've got 92 minus 43 over 2. And you should always start with the bigger of the two, just so you don't end up with a negative number. So we get 49 over 2 for the measure of angle 1. And that is going to give you 24.5 degrees, which is the measure of angle 1. Example 12, we've got two things we're solving for, arc 1 and measure of angle 2. So here we've got 360 degrees total for our entire circle. And we're going to subtract away 105. We're going to subtract away 130. We're going to subtract away 70. And what that leaves us with is 55 degrees. So that is going to be the measure of arc 1. And then in order to get the measure of angle 2, we need to subtract our two arcs, the outside and the inside of the angle. So 130 minus 55 over 2. We end up with 75 over 2, which is 37 and a half degrees. So that is the measure of angle 2. And arc 1 we have right here at 55. Okay, example 13 going to be the same thing. Right here we've got 134. Here's 170. So what's left is going to be the measure of arc 1. So 360 minus 170 minus 134 leaves us with 56 degrees. So that is the measure of arc 1. And we have 134 minus our interior 56 over 2. And that's going to give us 78 over 2. 
which is going to leave us with 39 degrees. So 39 degrees, that is the measure of angle 2. The arc 1 measurement right there at 56. Example 14, same thing. We just have to figure it out. If this is 270, I only have one arc left. So 360 minus 270 leaves me with 90. So that's the measure of arc 1. And then if we subtract the 2 and divide by 2, we end up with 90 degrees as the measure of angle 2. And the last example in this notes is one in which we don't have our interior, but we have now the outside angle. And we know that that outside angle is equal to the bigger angle minus what we're missing divided by 2. So we start by doubling it, multiplying both sides by 2. We get 76 is equal to 180 minus x. Subtracting 180 from both sides, we end up with negative 104, which is equal to negative x. And two negatives make a positive. So I know that x is equal to 104 degrees. And that completes our 10-4, 10-6 angle relationship notes.